بسم الله الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين ما بعد Why do you follow the four imams in the furu' the, um, the fiqh but you don't follow them in usul in aqidah Okay This is one of the uh, so-called shubuhat doubts that the Salafiyya and the Wahhabiyya they try to confuse and um, when they when they speak uh, with Ahl Sunnah wal Jama'ah the three schools four schools and way to solve okay so the I guess some some logic that they they have why would you follow them in in uh, you know the lesser matters and not in the uh, more important matters okay so firstly the question is what chain do you have back to these four imams in aqid or fiqh or anything anyway that really probably has to be the first question so okay let's look at your chains assuming you have chains your chains are going to have a sha'ira maturidiya Hanabila, Sufiya, many that are at least innovators, if not kuffar, according to, to you all. So those chains can't even be valid. So, for Ahl Sunnah, we have the connected chain back to the Imam. And what they, what they said, what they did, we have books that are transmitted from them. We have sayings and, and, and fiqh and aqidah uh, and many, many different types of things that are, that are transmitted over a thousand years that we have chains to. So, and, and, and with regards to their aqidah that we transmit, we transmit a clear tafwil from all of them. And if not tawil from, from some of them. What chain do you have that affirms body parts for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and direction for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from the Salaf? Are the chains through Imam ibn Taymiyyah? Where, where, where are you getting uh, you know, uh, this, this uh, interpretation? You have to understand this is a tradition passed down. So if we use the four Imams, for example... They had their students, who had their students, who had their students, all the way up until our time, a connected chain. So we, 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 have, we have the service of uh, the, the sayings of these great imams up until our time, in which we follow and you don't. You chose Imam Ibn Taymiyyah over the four Imams in Aqidah, in Fiqh, in Methodology to go along with Ibn Abdul Wahhab, adding on to, to that Ibn Uthaymin Ibn Baz Al-Bani. So you favor those types of people over the great Mujtahideen. So this... And uh, so, so if you take the the, the sayings uh, in in Aqidah, whether it's Imam Ahmad in his Usul al Sunnah and his his letter to the uh, the uh, Mutawakkil, um, you have uh, Imam Abu Hanif and his Fiqh al Akbar was attributed to him. You have uh, the, the sayings that are attributed uh, to Imam Malik, uh, especially the famous one about Istawa al Arsh, in which he says that the uh, Istiwa is Ghayru Ma'kul, which is the more authentic one, and you stick to a lesser authentic one, uh, which is a Majhul. Uh, or Imam al Shafi'i sayings in, uh, in Aqidah as well. You clearly have Tafwil. The fuid of ma'na. And uh, then, then you, you come later 
and you try to affirm or persuade people that there's something called the tafwi al kayf. And in reality, when we actually speak to you, you're either going to do tafwil, the tafwil that we know, the way of Ahl Sunnah, the way of the Salaf, or you're going to do tajseem. Because you don't even understand what, when you say, okay, there's a, we affirm a hand. Then you say, okay, well, that's what the text says. It says does the text actually say that? It says, yeah, okay. So then it's like, okay, well, it's a hand, unlike our hands. <clears throat> but when a hand comes to your, your mind, you think of the hand that we know. Right? And that's your problem by translating anyway, if you translate it yet to hand. So even if you said yet is a sifa, this would, as long as you don't do tashbih, you don't affirm it as a, a literal body part, uh, like the uh, mujassima, then this is valid in, uh, in the way of Ahl Sunnah wal Jama'ah. To uh, uh, affirm uh, yad, the, the word yad in Arabic, as a sifa, as an attribute. But again, you, you lack the understanding because you are a disconnected chain, right? You, you cherry pick, you pick and choose from the tradition as you like. And that's why some have called you all the Hashawiya from Hashu. Um, and you are, uh, you, you, you fall into many innovations and you go against the Jama'a. You have no problem go against, going against the four imams for the likes of Al-Bani, Ibn Bazir, and what they mean. <clears throat> so don't tell us a, 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 about following the four imams in Furu' and not in Usul. We follow the imams in Usul. We follow the, the four imams in, in Furu'. We follow them in Tasawwuf. The way of the Asha'ira Matridiyah Hanabila is uh, is following the four imams. It goes back to the four imams. It's not a made-up way. The way of the Sufiyyah is following the four imams. And of course, clearly following the four schools of fiqh is following the four imams. So you have no right to speak. Right, because we we have, we have the protected chains, alhamdulillah, of the the Sunni chains. The only way the only way you can even try to speak is by using our chains anyway, which we do not give you permission to use. And it should be invalid for you because the people that you are narrating from are innovators, at least if not kufar. We ask Allah subhanahu wa taala to guide you. To guide you all to the way of Ahl Sunnah wal Jama'ah. Right? Stop. You need to take off the glasses of Imam Ibn Taymiyyah, rahimahullah. <clears throat> right? <clears throat> Go back. You're seeing like uh, hundreds of scholars, they're saying one thing, and you're following one or two people. Everybody else is wrong. <clears throat> Even with regards to Imam Ibn Taymiyyah, he's going against his grandfather, Majdid Deen. And uh, and uh, Al Muwaffaq ibn Qudama and Sayyid Abdul Qadir Jilani, and um, Ibn Rajab. <clears throat> so we we can't leave the tradition for one man that came. Uh, uh, he passed away seven twenty eight Hijriya. We talk like Imam Taymiyyah was from the Salaf. He passed away seven twenty eight Hijriya. So far away from the Salaf. Right? And this is assuming you even have a, a connected chain to Imam Ibn Taymiyyah. That it wasn't Wijada. Like Ibn Abdul Wahhab, I think he found Fatawa of Imam Ibn Taymiyyah somehow. Which is disconnected. Some, like he just found it somewhere. So Alhamdulillah for the protected uh, chain, the protected religion, the protected, protected tradition. And yes, we follow the four Imams in Usul Furu'a. Uh, and you clearly don't. And you don't understand, and you need us to understand. We'll teach you if you're sincere and you want to learn. And Allah Subhanahu wa Taala knows best. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.